Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Architecture Attack. In this video, I am going to explain you about drag trap bond with the help of these mini bricks. So let's start. So guys, before moving further, let me explain you some brick terminologies. So after knowing this, you'll be understanding the topics better or the brick bonds better. So let me just explain you this. Uh, all of you know that this is a brick. Really. This phase of brick is called stretcher or stretcher phase. This and this phase. And this phase and this phase, these are called header phase. And the above phase uh, which have a logo or some mark inside, this is called frog. And the phase which is plain and uh, which is down the brick, this is called bed. So one second I'll tell you, this is header phase, this is stretcher phase, this is frog and this is bed and these edges are called arrays. So let's start. Rat trap bond. Rat trap bond. So what is rat trap bond? Uh, before ex before explaining you rat trap bond, let me just remind you about uh, Flemish bond. So if you know Flemish bond, you will be knowing rat trap bond. This is, there is a just uh, simple thing you need to remember. This is a Flemish bond. In Flemish bond, what it is like in from elevation, we are able to see header and stretcher both in one layer. Like header, header, see header, stretcher, header, stretcher. From this side, from uh, if we see from elevation, stretcher, header, stretcher, header. So uh, rat trap bond is also same. Only uh, the difference is there is no cavity in between this. In rat trap bond, we will get a cavity. If we are placing brick like this in a same manner, then it's a Flemish bond. If we are placing brick like this, like if we are placing it like this, it's a Flemish bond. If we are placing brick like this, then it's a rat trap bond. Let me just change it. Let me remove this queen closer from this. Like clean, let's see, queen closer is removed. And just we are what we are doing is we are doing placing brick like this and like this see and now we are placing this brick like this like this so that a cavity is formed in between this is nothing but a rat trap bond if you know english bond you will be knowing rat trap bond if you know rat trap bond you will be knowing uh, sorry not english bond if you know flemish bond you will be knowing rat trap bond if you know rat trap bond you will be knowing flemish bond as simple as it is see like this only we have to uh, change these bricks positions in uh, in flemish in flemish bond we will be seeing stretcher in elevation in ratra bond we will be seeing bed of brick like this is a frog and this is this side of brick is known as bed now so in elevation what we are going to see is bed of brick see a cavity is formed a trap is formed if a rat enters this it will get trapped that's why it's this type of bond is known as rat trap bond see another layer i'll place and keep i'll keep and show you we can't keep this like this so why because we have to avoid these vertical joints so let's place it like this like this and see one bed and another we have to keep like this header and see like this stretcher or bed like this so this is a rat trap bond another layer from this side as we have here header we, we need to place like stretcher or bed stretcher from upside like from plan if we see there it's a stretcher and header like this so this is called rat trap bond if you see it from above if something gets inside it will get trapped that's why it's called rat trap bond this is nothing but a cavity in between and it's also known as cavity wall i don't make videos often in english so i don't have a practice of speaking so fast in english so 
please do ignore if I do little bit mistakes or I stuck somewhere in between. I hope you got what is rat trap bond. If you like the video, please like it, share it, subscribe it if you understood it. Uh, I also have an Instagram page, Architecture Attack. You can follow, go and follow there. So let's meet in another video.